Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. In today's video, we are going to discuss important questions asked from the topic jaundice and this video can be useful for the rapid revision as well. So the first question can be asked is, what is jaundice? So the jaundice is the clinical condition characterized by the yellowish discoloration of skin, sclera and mucous membrane due to deposition of bilirubin. Now second question can be asked, what is bilirubin? So bilirubin is the end product of heme catabolism. Fine, bilirubin is synthesized from the heme via heme oxygenase enzyme. Third question can be asked, what are the bile pigments? So bile pigments are two. One is the bilirubin, which is a yellow color pigment. And the second one is the bilirubin, which is a green color pigment. Then another question can be asked, what is clinical jaundice and what is latent jaundice? So the normal level of total bilirubin is 0.2 to 0.8 milligram per deciliter and when the bilirubin level is greater than 1 milligram per deciliter then it is termed as a hyperbilirubinemia. If the bilirubin level is in between 1 to 2 milligram per deciliter then it is termed as a latent jaundice and if the bilirubin level is greater than 2 milligram per deciliter then it is termed as a clinical jaundice. So that is the difference between clinical jaundice and latent jaundice. Then another question can be asked classification of jaundice. So jaundice is classified based upon the increase in the level of conjugated bilirubin or unconjugated bilirubin. So conjugated hyperbilirubinemia or unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia. In conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, the acquired one is the hepatic jaundice which is also known as the hepatocellular jaundice or obstructive jaundice. While in the unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, acquired one is the hemolytic jaundice and hepatic jaundice. And in the congenital, the unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia are kriegler nazar syndrome and Gilbert syndrome, while in the conjugated hyperbilirubinemia are the Dubin-Johnson syndrome and Rotter syndrome. So that is the classification of jaundice. Now another question can be asked, uh, write down the, uh, tell the differential diagnosis of different types of jaundice based upon the lab investigation. So there are three types of jaundice, prehepatic which is a hemolytic jaundice, hepatic which is a hepatocellular jaundice and posthepatic is the obstructive jaundice. So in the hemolytic jaundice there is an increased level of unconjugated bilirubin fine while in the hepatic jaundice there is an increased level of conjugated as well as the unconjugated bilirubin and while in the obstructive jaundice there is an increased level of conjugated bilirubin so that is the first difference second difference is a presence of bilirubin conjugated bilirubin in the urine so in the obstructive jaundice there is a presence of conjugated bilirubin in the urine as well as in the hepatic jaundice there is also presence of bilirubin in the urine but it is absent in the uh, it is absent in the hemolytic jaundice. Then presence of urine urobilinogen. So urine urobilinogen level is increased in hemolytic jaundice while it is decreased in hepatic jaundice and it is absent in a obstructive jaundice. Then presence of urobilinogen in the fecal material. So it is increased in hemolytic jaundice, decreased in hepatic jaundice and again it is absent in obstructive jaundice. Then another major difference is in obstructive jaundice there is a presence of bile salts in the urine which is absent in hepatic jaundice as well as in a hemolytic jaundice. As well as in a obstructive jaundice there is an elevation of alkaline phosphatase level fine alp level is elevated in obstructive jaundice so these are the some or some differences based upon a lab investigation in three uh, major categories of jaundice then another question can be asked uh, by which method you can estimate the level of bilirubin so it is uh, done by the van den berg test fine in van den berg test we are adding diazo reagent in the uh, we are adding the diazo reagent with the sample and then we are estimating the bilirubin level as conjugated bilirubin is a water soluble so as soon as we are adding the diazo reagent so it will give a pink color direct so that's why it is known as a direct bilirubin while the unconjugated bilirubin is a water insoluble so to make it water soluble we are adding alcohol first and after adding the alcohol then it will give the pink color which is a pink color will be developed indirectly so that's why unconjugated bilirubin is known as a indirect bilirubin and based upon this reaction in hepatic jaundice as conjugated bilirubin and unconjugated bilirubin both are increased so the van den berg test will be biphasic in uh, hepatic jaundice then another question can be asked what is phototherapy so phototherapy is the phenomenon which is used for the treatment of neonatal jaundice. In the phototherapy, blue light which has a wavelength of around 440 nanometer, uh, baby is put under the blue light which has a wavelength of around 440 nanometer which will convert insoluble bilirubin uh, to the soluble bilirubin and which will be excreted via urine. So these are the questions which can be asked from the jaundice. Thank you.